पतंजलि पावर वीटा प्रो रेसलिंग लीग सीजन दो में अब वक्त है पुरुषों के चौहत्तर किलोग्राम वर्ग मुकाबले का देवर सज्जनों अब हरियाणा हैमर्स की ओर से आ रहे हैं भारतीय मूल के सुमित शेराव पतंजलि पावर वीटा प्रो रेस्लिंग लीग सीजन टू असली दंगल के इस चौहत्तर किलोग्राम वर्ग पुरुषों के मुकाबले में अब आ रहे हैं मुंबई महारथी की ओर से अजरबैजान मूल के याब्रिल हसन So the Haryana Hammers are consolidating their position as uh, Geeta Fogart looks on. What a movie that just came out a uh, couple of weeks ago. Dangal, well, definitely the face of Indian wrestling has changed over the last couple of years. But for the moment, Sumit Sarawat, another lad who's representing Haryana Hammers in the men's 74 kg category, he is going to be in action. The 25-year-old had a bronze at the senior nationals in 2014. He's up against tough competition because he's got to face Abriel Hasanov, the 26-year-old from Azerbaijan. Bronze for him at the Rio Olympic Games in 2016, just five months ago. European Championship silver in 2014 and in 2016 for the grappler from Azerbaijan. So it's going to be a test for Sumit Cherawa, this uh, young lad. Contest getting underway in the commentary box. I'm Raman Bhanot. With me is Ajay Mehra and Ajay. I think the first target here for the Haryana Hammers grappler is to try and take this contest to the full six minutes. Absolutely, as you rightly mentioned, Raman. Uh, this is going to be acid test for uh, Subhat. Can he uh, bounce back? Can he uh, really uh, stay there in the contest for six minutes? Because remember, as far as uh, the opposition is concerned, it looks very, very strong. Someone like Jabriel, who's won bronze uh, medal in the Olympic Games in 2016, he's got a lot of experience behind him. And remember, also he was sold for 43 lakhs in the auction. So heavy money he's got in the auction. Yes, sir. It's uh, equivalent to the money they spent to get Erika Weeb into the team for uh, Mumbai Maharathis, 43 lakhs. So they value him highly, and they believe uh, that he can be instrumental as far as the team's fortunes are concerned. Gabriel Hasanov Absolutely and they're the big players uh, they are the players uh, on whom uh, the team depends who know a lot of uh, importance is given uh, resting on the shoulders they have to perform under pressure I remember at the toss Abdul Salam wanted to block this weight category because he knew that Sumit is going to be up against the bronze medalist at the Olympic games Hasanov so he didn't want to take a chance The only problem was that uh, he could only block a weight category in the women's draw, not the men's draw, because that was already chosen by Erika Weeb. And someone like Sumit, I think uh, this is a great platform for him, uh, just to excel, just to learn from the experience. So far, he's doing pretty good for himself because they haven't opened the account, uh, and I think Sumit has shown good defence. He's uh, looking very defined at the moment. Mumbai need to win this bout to come back because the tie score is 3-1 in favour of the Haryana Hammers. Remember they made it to the finals last season did Haryana Hammers lost in the finals to the Mumbai side that was led by Adeline Gray but uh, it would be sweet revenge for the Hammers team to hammer Mumbai here today just feel the way contest is going on the passivity uh, could be into play the passivity time because uh, I just feel even uh, Jabriel is just taking his time at the moment just assessing his partner not in a rush at all Quite understandably, there's no rush. There's no hurry here. You can see the referee waving to both the grapplers to try and get a move on. Haven't seen a very strong move from anyone yet. And now one point being awarded to the 
red corner. That's what the referee is indicating. We'll have to wait. Yes, there is a point that's been given to Yabriel Hasanov from Azerbaijan against Sumit Serawat. And that's the passivity rule kicking in. There was no attempt from Sumit. But now Yabriel makes another move. Gets into that single leg hold. Can he convert it into a couple of points? Yes, he will. That's for sure. So he's up three to nothing now with two more points accumulated. Yeah, first time he's attacked and he's done pretty well for himself. So he's got uh, two points for the takedown. He's uh, still in a good grip here. Sumit uh, in a bit of problem, bit of bother at the moment. Will uh, come back to the neutral position, uh, both the grapplers. What a fill-up we've seen as far as Indian wrestling is concerned over the last couple of years. In fact, you look back at the Olympic Games, wrestling has been one of the major fortes that has yielded medals consistently since 2008 as far as India is concerned with Sushil Kumar. And that's the end in the meantime of this opening round and it is... The Mumbai Maharathis who are leading because their grappler, Jabriel Hasanov, has managed to score three points against Sumit Sherawat of Haryana Hammers. So Jabriel's been the more aggressive of the two. Up three to nothing. Welcome back. You're watching live action coming your way from the Pro Wrestling League Season 2. It's day one today. And it's uh, last year's finalists who are up against each other. Haryana Hammers and Mumbai Maharathis. Up against uh, Haryana Hammer, Sumit Sherawat. He's leading three to nothing. I thought uh, Jabril made the right move, especially in the last minute of the first round. He came back very strongly, attacked a bit. And now uh, Sumit will be under some amount of pressure. Also going to be interesting now what moves he makes. What is uh, the planning in his mind now? But probably he's got to attack a bit. He's got to counter-attack. That's going to be important. So this is the beginning now of uh, the second round. And straight away, it's... Hasanov, who's made the move, rolling his opponent over. So he's going to pick up left. another two points there. One more. This is something that we've seen Pajrang do it exceedingly well because he learnt it from Yogeshwar Dutt, remember? The Olympic bronze medalist from India who loves this maneuver. Nine to nothing. Straight away, the scoreline's taking a beating here. Absolutely. And what a start for Jabriel in the uh, second bout. Brilliant. That's exactly what he wanted. And once again, looks to be in a very, very commanding position. Points are coming thick and fast for him. In a flurry. Leading by 13 to nil. Another two points and this match will be over. Yes, and this should be it. Yes, 15 to nothing. So it will be a victory on technical superiority for Jabriel Hasanov of Azerbaijan, who's representing Mumbai Maharathis. He wins this on technical superiority. A score difference of 15 points. Remember, earlier it used to be a difference of 10 points. But now it's a difference of 15. That's what the change has happened. And a facile win for the grappler from Azerbaijan. Fantastic win and really uh, very easy in the second bout. Didn't have to do much. Just came back very strongly with a different mindset. Winning uh, points uh, very, very fast. And that was the end. Exactly what happened. To see how attacking he was, then getting a very strong grip on Sumit, who was never in control, but all the control was uh, monitored here by Gabriel, and uh, a great finish for him. Just holding that uh, midriff and rolling his opponent over. This is something, it's one of the pet moves that we've seen Yogeshwar Dutt execute. But what he does is he actually holds on to both legs of the opponent, pins him, and then keeps rolling him over in domestic violence, they call it the fitlay.